Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and I guess we're recording another part of Let's Play Final Fantasy X because I couldn't find a save point on this I boat. I don't know who you are, or where you came from. And? If you interfere with Yuna's pilgrimage, we won't take it lightly. Whoa, okay, she means business here. Hey Waka, what do you have to say? Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. <laughs> that might be an idea here. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. You'll be we dead. Praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. There she is, Miss hey, Shelly Vizage over a great here. Plan. Don't look at me. <laughs> it's like Waka's like, aren't you gonna give me some backup, bro? Now there is like one thing I want to do here. I can like find out where I'm even supposed to go. There's like another thing. Who are you back here? You want to use the binoculars? Yeah, sure. No way, remember what you did last time? Yeah, see, that's what happens. You're not like not doing much in the way of making friends here. I just wanted to like take the time to come down here into the Ooh, into the hold. Fascinating clothes you're wearing. I love this guy's voice acting, by the way. He's so good. Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not Owaka. <laughs> you just love. You've got to love Owaka. Don't look like you got much money either. <laughs> I've no business with you. Add him away. Who do you think you are? He's Owaka. Weren't you listening? It's like put on your Owaka listening the ears. Merchant extraordinaire. Owaka the who? <laughs> Owaka the Wookie. <laughs> well, not many. Oh, Waka's actually uh, uh, Waka. Oh, Waka is actually. Oh, there's the save point. Jeez. Oh, Waka is actually such a cool character. But someday, the name Waka will be spoken all over Spira. I believe it. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Yeah, you can like, you can like, donate him money. Like, how much do we have? Like, one thousand five hundred fifty-six. I might as well give him like one thousand gill. Yeah, no sweat. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly. Nada. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. It actually is in like your best interest to donate some money to him. It does help like in the long run. Hey, is that like lose one Gata up here? I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. That's fair enough. All I wanted to do was say hi. I like you guys. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. That's fair enough. Um, there's the save point. But yeah, Owaka is one of those characters, like, that really, like, as I say, like, at the beginning, you're just kind of like, oh, wait a second, he's just some guy. He's just some, like, guy with a merchant shop. Here's, like, poor Keep. Oh, no, I thought that was Keeper. I thought that fat ass was Keeper. Is that someone else back here? Yeah, it's Keeper. There he is. He seems real sick. <laughs> How do I get to the power room again? There's like this room that you can get into where it like shows like the engines of the ship. The the engines of the ship is like a good a good term for it, I guess. It's like I didn't want to like go back up there. I hope I didn't go back up. Maybe you like can't get in there yet, but I'm pretty sure this is the way you go to get into like the, the power room. There it is. It's like geez, good luck finding that. What the heck is that? <laughs> what, what the heck is what? It's the ostrich. What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about? I guess chocobo this is how you power. get to Sesame Street, is chocobos? what it is. Those are chocobos. What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from? Uh, anyway? I got too close to Sin's Ooh. toxin, and uh, <laughs> like that's my excuse for Miracles everything. And oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Yeah, just accept it. It's like quantum leap, is what it's like. Now this lady, like when you talk to her, she sings this like crazy tune, and she just sounds like a complete weirdo. La, 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 la. And like no matter how much you would say talk to her, and like the part I always remember is like on the last note she like does this vibrato thing. It's like la 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 like that. It's like crazy. I don't know. 
I could just listen to her do that all day. Anyway, the real reason I wanted to come down here is because there's another Albed Primer down here. And they're so important. It's important to, to know the the letters of the alphabet. A, B, C. <laughs> like that little phonograph that, that, that Plankton whips out. And like there's that one time where he's where Joe that that where and it plays like the evil music and then there's like one time where he whips out and instead of like playing the evil music it's like letters of the alphabet A B C Still not willing to talk there, Kamari. You with a woman, you can't even catch a ball. It's, seriously that line is just so like memorable. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory. Yeah, I heard it already. Pray for the Aurochs victory. You'll need to pray. Word is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. <laughs> you don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. I got too close to Sin's toxin and uh they all, they're all like obsessed with Yuna. They're like, I wish I was half as popular as Yuna. And what am I supposed to do now, Waka? So is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. I guess this Lord Braska is a pretty big cheese. <sighs> when your father's famous. Aww. Huh? Waka's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Jeez, they're totally ganging up on poor Waka. It's like Waka doesn't deserve this. I'm starting to wish he didn't get out of bed in the morning. What have you got to say for yourself now, Leshy and keep um, people dato? Lord Braska's daughter? She just might have a chance. We'll get her to Killika, we will. She does have a name, you know. Yuna. Uh -huh. Hmm, Lady Yuna. Well then, we pray for Lady Yuna's safe passage. Lady Yuna, leader of this ship of moron. <laughs> it's what she is. So Yuna, what's shaken? I hear your dad's famous too. It's funny because both of them have like a famous dad and like grew up like like in the shadow of their parents reputation but both of them have such like a different reaction to it. Like Yuna is so kind of like reverent when it comes to and proud of like her father whereas Titus is just like you jerk. <laughs> so um nice weather we've been having. The wind. It's nice. Oh, is this going to be the scene where it looks like the sail is laughing? That always cracks me up because it looks like the sail on the ship is laughing. I think that's what's coming up here. What's he doing with his Patrick Swayze face? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's just because like the sail is like moving in and out while they're laughing. It just looks like the sail is laughing. It's like ha 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 ha. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Star player mm -hmm. for the Xanarkin uh, Abes. Waka needs to stop running Waka. his mouth. Waka doesn't believe me at all. Waka can bite my shiny metal ass. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin... There is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. Um. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jacked? Jacked? Jacked! That jerk! More like reject. My father. His name is Jekt. 
Amazing. <laughs> this is so awkward. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Surely. That Yevon's a stand-up guy. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. And you were happy about that. Or maybe you're just annoyed because you actually were sad about it. I think that's actually more likely. He went out to sea for training one day. And never came back. And no one's seen him since then. It's like it's a complicated emotion, like when you Why that's the day that uh, came when you hate Sarah. like someone and then in spite it's of yourself you're annoyed or you're sad about their death ago. or whatever. I remember that was the day my father left. This is also a cool remix of that tune. The date fits, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? Same way you got here, doofus. You're here? Are you not? <laughs> With your Patrick Switch, your like Ken doll life in the dream house face. Life in the dream house. <laughs> See? Oh, of course. Just when things were like getting back to normal, seriously, like like just when things were starting to get like just when things were starting to go smoothly here. Like just when you start to like breathe a sigh of relief. It's like that's when life starts coming at you with its pants down again. <laughs> it's like alright, who's the jerk? No <laughs> Oh she looks like so terrified in that one shot. Nice one, Kamari. I guess you are useful for something when you're not acting like a jerk. Oh, <gasps> sin again. Seriously? It's like I'm gonna start having to charge you rent if you keep hanging around here all the time. It's like wherever I go, you were what there. What do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him, and we'll all get dragged under. Sin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract it. Screw Kilika. I mean, yeah, sure. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Kill him, Yuna. <laughs> Take him out. Wait. Oh boy. Just take the shot. Shoot her! Shoot her! It's like in deep blue sea, when your man is like a 40 foot shark and you hit me in the leg or something at the end. Where, where you've got to like agree, like what are the chances? Like you're trying to harpoon like the biggest shark on the face of the earth and hit the guy that's next to the shark. It's like, are you for real? It's like bad enough that sharks are trying to kill us without you trying to kill us as well. I haven't actually seen that film Deep Blue Sea in a long time. All I remember about it though, or what I remember about it, is first of all that Samuel L. Jackson looks like he dressed up as Morgan Freeman for Halloween in that film. And also that... Is it like Ludacris, I think, is in that film? I think it's Ludacris is in that film. Continuing the great tradition of... Continuing the great tradition of rappers being in movies. I'm just gonna defend with you and all together. So now here we are with, like, Kamari. And Kamari is like... Like, he's kind of like that jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none character. Like, he's generally, like, a good attacker. Um, but also, like, his, his special skill, like his limit break or his overdrive or whatever. Is like that you can use use and learn blue like learn and use blue magic, um, and then 
like you learn and use blue magic and then basically he also has access to Lancet which is almost like um, which is almost like a kind of a like not rasp what's the word I'm trying to think of it's like osmos or one of those things pretty much I must say though like these battles that you have are like really exciting like this one on the ship the horn Pikachu the horn So basically what we're going to want to do, like the text box just said, we're not going to be able to use sword attacks. So I generally like to just like stick with Waka for like take Waka and Lulu or, and Titus are going to be our party here. And just kind of like take out these guys with like just kind of keep like crowd control these guys, especially when their wings start to flicker or else what you can also do is um... What you can also do is like go ahead and what you can also do is just like go ahead and use cheer with um with Titus to start getting their attack and defense up so that Waka and Lulu have a bit more survivability um against like the small goons while they're taking out the thing because they're the only ones who are going to be able to hit it anyway. So yeah, it's like you could like take that thing up, but really, is there any point? And yeah, we're pretty much just going to be in this war of attrition for a while here. And cheer is useful, like I know like the attack boost isn't going to be very useful for Lulu. Um, but the defense boost is, especially when they start doing crap like this. It does like 214 damage. And basically whenever Sin has his turn, like when, when the Finn has its turn, it's basically just going to move around the place and make it an ass of itself is all it's going to do, so you don't even have to worry about that too much. Just like this. It's like, you have to imagine, like, this enormous thing under the water is moving around like that. I'd actually better use, like, a potion here on myself. Just to make sure I can actually survive. There's like one that the wings are flickering, so I might actually take that one out just so I can't use the spines attack. But I know I'm not gonna get the chance here. There now your wings are flickering. I'm just gonna use another potion. Is Titus going to get like another turn by the time like we get around? Probably not. I'm just gonna attack Sin with Lulu and attack like the one with the flickering wings with Waka, I think that's probably like the best way to go about it. It won't like take that long, I mean it only has like 2000 HP, you're not going to have too much trouble with it. As you can see though, like, um, do you remember like we were able to see how much HP they all had and now we're not? Well that's because of the fact yeah. that... What? You couldn't take that thing out? Seriously? You took out the first one? Fine. It's going to use spines again. Of course you go for that idiot. Um, and now it's like wings aren't even flickering anymore, so there's not even a point in like, in like attacking it anymore. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use cheer again. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like we're not able to see their HP anymore. That's because of like that sensor ability that. Um, that's because of that sensor ability that Yuna had on the Rod of Wisdom, or Staff of Wisdom, or whatever. And obviously, because now she's not in our current party, we're not able to see how much HP everything has left. So if you have, like, one character that has Sensor, you're always going to be able to see, like, what the, what the enemy's weaknesses and what the enemy's strengths are and things like that. Like, you're always going to be able to see that. I'm actually just going to attack Sin with Waka here, finally. Um, and actually, of all the characters to have, like... There, I showed you. Of all like the characters to have like um sensor on, um Lulu it tends to be like the most useful just because it's so hand when she's like elemental attack based, it's so useful to be able to just see what the enemy's elemental weaknesses are and aren't before you're attacking with her. So that's usually why I like kind of, kind of prioritize having if I'm going to have any character that has a weapon with sensor, it's going to be Lulu. But this battle is taking quite a bit of time. We got into like a, a really like 
a grim spiral there for a while with just not being able to, we just don't have the power to take those guys out in one hit, that's the problem. But I think I'll leave that one, like, take out Tidus. Well, not take him out, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, waste Waka's turn. Because, for all I know, we might kill this thing in the attack now. Yeah, see, there you go. Well, not kill it, it's still alive, obviously, but... Defeat it for the time being. It's like, there, do, there goes the gun. Should have seen that one coming. See, look, that's how enormous it is. That was only, like, one little part of it, and now it's all under the... It's like... It's like you never see like how enormous this thing is. Well, obviously you do, like, but like at the at, for the time being, it's just this monumental creature where you have no concept concept or n idea how humongous and terrifying this thing is. Do you know, it's too quiet here. I guess like those guys like would disappeared with the guns. I guess they got pulled off the ship as well. Waka just has like such like a savior complex at the moment. It's like he just has to dive right in. Oh no, well Titus has gone. What kind of an idiot am I? I was like, oh I guess those idiots got pulled off with the gun. It's no, it's I'm in here in the water. It's like, sorry, Titus. I didn't know that you were in the water here, that you were after getting thrown into the drink. But it's okay, as long as Waka is there to save us, we'll be fine. It's like, that's, that's why these videos end up being so long, is because I get trapped in, like, the middle of these sequences where I'm just, like, not able to do anything to change it or whatever. It's like there I was having a nice conversation with Yuna and Sin attacks and now here I am and then, and then like it just goes on forever and then I like take out one of the things and then this ignoramus pops up out of the deep. It's like how, do, how am I supposed to win here? But yeah, we'll be careful. We'll be dead. Will we be careful or will we be dead? Find out next time on Final Fantasy X. I guess I'm recording another video, who knew? Bye now.